I spotted some emus out of my kitchen window. So I'm just sneaking around to see if I can see them. They've since moved down to my driveway. There they are. It's a daddy emu with its three babies. Oh, I think they must, or he must have spotted me. Off they go. G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a ring pour and I'm going to be doing, well, I don't, it won't be a copy of, but I'm using video number 83 as my, as my guide. I really like how the colours turned out in that. So as much as I have been able to, um, I'm doing those same colours in the same order. So we shall see how that turns out. Obviously it won't be the same, but uh, just just like those colours and it's going to be on a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas last time I believe it was on an 8 inch by 8 inch canvas not much difference anyway I'll just go through the colours this one here is a mixture it's a mixture of it's Heraldo paints in cool blue warm blue and black and yeah just become this lovely deep rich blue and I've got them fairly thick not not hugely thick but reasonably thick and this one here is Araldo deep sea which is basically like a deep turquoise don't know if the colors are coming out correctly for you but it is a lovely deep turquoise and this one here is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Aquamarine. And then I've got white. This is just British Paints House Paints mixed proxy one to one with Flow Troll. And that's it. Uh, I find they works perfectly well in my paintings and I haven't had any trouble with it so far. And yeah, all my painting, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol. No silicon or water are added. And this is the Decoite Extreme Sheen in the tourmaline, pink tourmaline. And actually, this is a colour I haven't used before. And this, actually, I should be showing you. I've kept them out specially. So this is the Decoite Aquamarine. And this is the pink tourmaline. And I, yeah, I found some colour shift. So this one is Plum Flash. I haven't used the colour shifts before. But I know Sarah Mack often has the colour shifts in her paintings. And uh, from what I hear, they're pretty good. So I thought I'd give it a go. So yeah, it's beautiful and creamy. Again, just mix with flow troll. Looks like a lovely colour. And then this one is a dark scene purple. And then we've got the 24K in the De Decoite Extreme Sheens. Haven't got much left, but I've got, I have made another pot of it up if I need it. And all right, and then this one here, it's exactly the same as this, except it's got okay, so it's got it's got cool blue, warm blue, and black. 
So it's mainly cool blue, some warm blue and a teeny bit of black, same as this. And then I have added some of this, which is a deco art satin enamel in dark denim. So I just had to have a look. So it's in dark denim. And this would just be for the base coat. All right. I will start layering my cup. So it's only a small canvas, so I'm just doing it in a small cup. Hopefully it's enough. Some snoring dogs in the background. All right, so maybe I'll put music on for you. You can just watch the cup getting filled. Now in the, in the original one I did the corners in the colours as well. So I don't know if I will use it in this one but I thought I'd better make it up. 
and yeah it's just a mixture of the colors basically yeah. There we are. It takes time for all of this. Alright. I guess if you didn't want to sit through it, you would have skipped forward. But those of you who do want to see how I layer my cups are able to. Alright, well I'll just clear all this away and I'll be back in a tick. Just have a puddle in the middle to start with. Here's the cup. It's looking pretty, isn't it? Now, in the um, original one, I, because I'd forgotten to do the gold until the end, I put a palette knife through it. I probably should do it again, but I'm not going to. Um, We'll just see how it goes. Let's forget that. Put something in that corner because my table's not level. Love these colours. 
wanted the middle to be dark and how often we end up with white in the middle of it. Just wanted it to be dark in the middle this time. Darker. And I'll just put a few popsicle sticks under there. Lift it up. Snoring dogs next to me. Give that a torch. A lot of aquamarine. I probably hmm, shouldn't have put so much in at the beginning, it seems. Anyway, we shall see what happens when I start to stretch it out. Now, what I did in the last one is I did some in the corners. Just enabled me. I didn't have to, but it enabled me not to have to go off the corners. You know how it, I had been frustrated by feeling that I had to take the paint off the corners with some of my paintings. And look, I dragged that all the way across. Don't go across your painting. Um, so I thought I'd do the corners. Um, actually, I think this one I will put the palette knife through because I want the paints to be mixed somewhat. Don't want it all to be gold, all to be blue or pink. So basically, just a little bit of colour, really. And I didn't mind the line of blue between. So keen on that bit there. All right. So a little bit more around the edges. This is just to help the pour to flow because. Otherwise, I mean, it's such a tiny canvas, this. Probably shouldn't have used quite so much paint. Um, but this helps it so that your pour will flow rather than catch onto the canvas and roll over on itself. All right, let's give it one more torch, pop any bubbles. A lot of the a lot of the paints I've made up a while ago, but uh, a few of them I made up today. Well, what did I make up today? The, the dark blue on the uh, aquamarine. put the white next to the blue and the pink to try and give it highlights, but it seems to have been lost on the pink. Oh goodness, a couple of dogs snoring in unison. All right, I'm not going to worry about my corners, as in I'm certainly not going to let that stop me from doing what I might otherwise do. Gives me that extra option of not worrying about having to go off, but I can if I want. Hmm. I'm going to 
trying. Now why aren't I holding my push pins? Especially with these deep edges, you don't want to be holding them by the edges or you're going to muck up the, the paint pattern on the, end, on the sides. So I try and remember to hold my push pins. So I'm just trying to get that to be in the middle. As in facing downwards. And now I'm going to go off this corner a bit. Just a bit. And back. And this one, a bit and back. Quite like that. Oh, good. See, because I stretched it out, I better not put my. Hands over the top while they're covered in paint. Oh, I will not be happy if I don't drip paint all over it. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold. My voice sounds a bit funny. You may have gathered. So remember how I said I put the white next to the pink and then like in between the pink and the, the like the pink tourmaline and the aquamarine to give it some highlights, which I think I've achieved there, so I'm pleased with that. Now let me have a look. Just tip it over this way a little bit. I like that. Not so sure about these big thick gold lines, which of course was my corner bits. But I can always go over that, you know. Let's have a look. Which one do I choose? Maybe not that one, it looks a bit mushy. I think I might have gone, used the um, palette knife a bit too much. I'll right, just test it out on this little bit first. Oh yeah. It's best to always start off, off your canvas. Otherwise you can end up with a big blob because what you usually get to begin with is a blob of paint. Plus, of course, I want it to go down the sides here, so just letting it run down the side. Didn't quite make it down that side. That's good. You can always make up paints afterwards and come back and do this, which I've often done. You might have seen me on other videos doing similar if you've been watching them. All right, I might see what's in this one for this bit. Because I want it a bit different. I don't want it all the same. Oh, that's nice. I don't like this bit here, it's too much. It's not um, too 
too many thin squiggles. Oh, and I got a solid cold again. <laughs> but still, it's not too solid, not as solid as it was. That's quite nice. Oh, I am liking this. Very much. So there's nothing you can do, so I don't know if you can see this, but I'm sort of letting it go on the canvas and then pulling the paint down. I don't know if I can show you this, I'll try and show you on the other corner. It's hard to show you actually, maybe if I pull this further back and around. I don't know if I can without the cut being in the way. Let's see how we go. I just need to see what I'm doing. So, okay, come up here and then you drag it down while it's still sort of in the cup. So, look around. And then down, I don't know if you're able to see this. It'd be good if I had someone else here to do a close-up for you, but <laughs> it's hard when you're videoing on your own. You can't really just pick up the camera, and I don't have two cameras. Ah, oh, really loving. So glad I did that. Woo! Did that white in between the pink tourmaline and the blue. That's exactly what I was aiming for, which often you don't get in these pores is to get what you're aiming for. So happy me. That's for sure. All right, I'll continue with this and bring you, then I'll, oh well, I'll just bring you in for a close up in just a tick for you. All right, so here it is. I am really happy with the beautiful highlights that have happened. So yeah, hopefully you like it as well. Do let me know. All right, here's some close-ups. So here's the corners. If the corners need a bit of extra touching up, sometimes the actual corner bit needs a bit of extra paint. I'll do that when it's dry. Quite easy to do with a paintbrush. So yeah, I mean I wasn't aiming for cells with this particular pour, but they're quite pretty, the few little ones that I've got. Quite happy with those. But that's what I was aiming for, the, the highlight by putting the white between the the pink tourmaline and the, what was it, the aquamarine in the deco art and having the white there it's just helped it I think to be a little bit more 3D. Anyway do tell me what you think and I'll come around here if you can see the sides, there we are, you can see the sides a bit better now. It's really pretty. All right, so that's the other side. And, and that's that side. So just letting you see the edges. To 
think are really pretty. So yay, please let me know what you think. And I have a Facebook group called Acrylic Pouring and More for all artists at all levels. I'd love you to join, share what you want to share. And my only rule is to be kind. All right, thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. All right, bye for now.